What's up guys, it's your boy Zion and I'm bringing you another Destiny video. In this one, we're gonna be talking about, I got the Hiv. Oh God, do I got the Hiv. So I'm just playing guys. Um, We are actually talking about diseases and infections to be specific because recently people have been getting infected in Destiny and I'm not talking about like with a virus or any kind of disease or AIDS or anything. Um, Basically, people have different ideas on what the actual infections are. There's some reports saying they are, in all regards, an infection, as in, like, a computer virus. Um, there's other people saying that it is a war mind trying to protect us before the infection that's coming. Um, there's reports of war minds like Charlemagne is a name that keeps popping up in forums going ahead and looking over what these infections are but there's a lot of lore that kind of supports this um there are other war mines besides rasputin and there is siva which is the nanotechnology that we're basically going to be dealing with here in rise of iron so it's not too far out to go ahead and think that another war mind has access to the siva technology and can infect us with nanobots that basically buff us to help us get ready. Now, these infections, there's five in total, and the way you get them is you play in the Crucible and you have to kill people who are already infected with them, and it basically spreads the disease. There's some people saying um, you have to go ahead and kill people after they've used their super. There's other people saying you don't, and I've even seen in Crucible matches where I haven't used my super, and someone got infected by killing me. It's just one of those things where we're not 100% sure what you actually have to do. However, we do know it involves killing people in the Crucible because that's where you get it is from other people in the Crucible. So go out, play your Crucible matches, get your infections. Now, like I said, there's five total that you can go ahead and get. The only thing is it looks like after you quit out of an event, you can't really get any. And my myself noticed that I was only able to get two and I only got them in a single match. So playing against people after a single match, I can't guarantee if you'll be able to continue stacking infections on you. Now, what do the infections actually do? Are they actually worthwhile? Well, if we go ahead and look at the two I have, I have Brilliance 3.2 and Magnificent 2.0. And both of these gain you XP and reputation gains are increased during transmission. So it doesn't look like they stack. You could have all five and they absolutely do not stack together, or at least we aren't 100% sure on how to get them to stack, which kind of sucks because there's five boosts to go ahead and get. We don't know if they reset with the reset. There's a lot of things that are still up in the air with them. They kind of just popped up and everyone's like, a new thing that they didn't explain. Yeah, <laughs> it's new, it's shiny, it's cool, we want them. But then there's people who are also going off of there might be a downfall to getting them. Like they might help us prepare, but they might become a detriment later on. So going ahead and getting them is something you can get at your own risk. So far, I only have them on my one character. I'm going to try to keep a clean character with no infections to see when Rise of Iron drops if there's any truth to there might be a detriment to actually having them like they de-level you a little bit or something crazy like that so i'm gonna go ahead and keep you guys posted i'm gonna keep trying to get more and more infections and try to do more experiments to go ahead and figure out how they actually work and if they're worth actually having so thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like a comment a favorite and subscribe and as always i'll see you guys later peace